Now, as you're building your generative AI application, what we just talked about is often called retrieval augmented generation, or RAG. And that's generally the most powerful way to build these applications. But you can take things one step further. What fine tuning does is it enables you to actually take the data that you're using and customize and personalize the innards of the large language model itself with your own customer's data. And I'm happy to announce that we're enabling fine tuning on both GPT-3.5 Turbo as well as on GPT-4. And so we bring all of those capabilities of these large language models and, and generative AI applications into the single place, the Azure AI Studio. But more than talking about it, I'd love to show you just how easy it is. And so I'd like to invite Seth Juarez, a principal programming manager on the Azure AI team, to come out and walk us through this. Seth? How's it going, Eric? It's going great. You're looking great, Seth. Nice Thank shoes, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, I, I love these shoes. I'm pretty excited. I work in the Azure AI engineering group, but I really split my time with Contoso Outdoors, because that's really where I do all my demos. So I'm going to show you three, thi three things now that I work for the Contoso Outdoor demos, how AI can help you in three ways. Number first, the, number first, number one, content, number two, support, and number three, sales. I'm going to show you how Azure AI can help in all of those things. So what you're looking at here is the Contoso Outdoors company website. It's actually quite beautiful. When you look at it, you're also going to see some wonderful text here. I am not this creative, and so GPT-4 Turbo made this for me. That's the first thing. The second thing I want to show you is this wonderful Trailmaster X410. Those beautiful pictures were created by Dolly3, because I'm not artistic. <laughs> and you can see here, these are wonderful tents. And so notice that I'm able, with these new Azure AI generative models, you're able to actually build amazing content to delight your customers as they show up. That's the first thing, content. Number two, support. Even though I made this beautiful website that has everything customers will need, for example, to know what to do with their tents, we all know here in this very room that every single one of those customers will not read this and they're going to call us instead, right? So how can we solve this problem? So it turns out that the support team said, hey, why not make a chat that answers the exact questions that our customers ask based on the exact facts that belong to our product? So I'm going to go here and I'm going to uh, ask a question right here. And the question is, how should I take care of my tents? And notice that in a matter of like three seconds, two, one, you get an answer. And not only is that answer a good answer, but it also has links to basically this page that has the information in there. So how do we accomplish this? It's pretty cool, right? And notice it's in your website. It's in the beautiful website that AI created for you. So how do we do this? Well, to do that, we're going to use the brand new experience called Azure AI Studio. And I'm just going to show you a couple of things in here. The first is, is, is now when you build things, you build things inside of projects, which is pretty much what we do. <laughs> so let's go to the Contoso store, and let me show you something here. Because I want to explain what actually is happening when you add your data to these models. Most people think that we're pushing data into the model. We're not. What we're doing is we're creating a search index. And when I say we, I mean like in the Packers, we won the game. What we're doing is we're actually creating a search index in Azure AI Search. And the source of that data really can be anywhere. So let me show you. If I go over here and I go to indexes and I create a new index, notice that I can actually connect to something like Microsoft OneLink, where actually all the product manuals live. You saw that earlier. And what it does is it takes those manuals, it chunks that data, and puts it into Azure AI Search so that when your customers ask a question, that question then is searched, and the information is put into the prompt and then sent to the large language model. That's what's actually happening. Let me show you. So I've already set this up. Uh, you saw there that we have the, already the Contoso Manuals Index. So if I go over here, I've hooked it up. And so when I ask the question again inside of this experience as you test it, you're going to notice that in about three seconds, you're going to get the answer, and I want you to notice something. It's almost exactly the same as the answer we got here. It's, I think, almost exactly the same thing. And the reason why is because we give you the code, exact code to do this, and you can also export this to a prompt form. It's pretty cool, right? And it's something you can do today. That's right. Second thing, uh, third thing, sales. Uh, you recall Eric mentioned my shoes. 
I think they're the coolest shoes ever. And, and I know Eric liked them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't get him some of these shoes here at the Contoso Outdoor Products Company here. So let's see. My friend Eric really likes these. I'm not shouting. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, uh, let me, let me, uh, I, I'm like shouting at the computer. I don't want it to get mad at me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and I'm going to put my shoe in here because he likes it. And I'm going to ask it a question because the reality is that when we're looking at the real world, it turns out that the real world is actually multimodal, right? So when I give it the shoe and I ask you the question, I want it to answer based upon what I just gave it. And you're going to see something here really cool. It's great to hear that your, Eric, your friend Eric has good taste. That's debatable. Based upon your request for a pair of gray outdoor sandals with red and gray, that's pretty specific. It's suggesting sandals from our company. It's pretty cool, right? Let me show you how this is done. This happens inside of Azure AI Studio. I want to show you just a couple of things. The first is that it uses Azure AI Studio's feature called Prompt Flow. And the first thing I want to show you is that it, with GPT-4 Turbo with Vision, you can actually put images into Prompt Flow now, which is pretty exciting. So that's the first thing. The second thing I want to show you is the actual prompt. Because you're probably, well, how do you, put a, how do you put an image in there? Well, it turns out that the prompt is just like you would expect, text. And then here is the image that you put in. It's pretty cool, right? And then the last thing I want to show you is that there is a really powerful extensibility bundle with PromptFlow that allows you to have custom tools built directly into the UI. So things like uh, uh, LangChain, Semantic Kernel, all of those things can live right inside of your UI. And the last thing I want to show you when we finish up is that you can deploy these things with one click. And if you go, for example, you can see how many times I did this. If you go to the Contoso retail store, number 10, you can actually switch between different deployments live so that if you have a new prompt that comes out because you fixed something, you can have that available to your customers immediately. You've already started building these things. I looked at our telemetry last night. I'm excited to see what you can build with this. Go to ai.azure.com. And I'm excited to see what kind of experience you will enable. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Seth. I'd been led to believe that keeping your shoes on was required at these keynotes, but Seth has proven me wrong.